Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys how you can change your launcher from this look to this look or this one. So let's go through. I'm going to show you exactly how it's possible to change it very, very easily and also without any kind of headache. Only thing is that we're going to use something called Google Play Store. So yes, we're not going to use anything third party in order to process it. So let's go through step by step of how that is possible. Another thing I want to let you know is that the box I'm using is almost five years old. We received it in late 2015 and our video came out in early 2016. So there are a lot of changes since then till now. So I'm using OS 5.1.1, but now we're going towards OS 11, which is not launched yet, by the way. So it's OS 10. There are a lot of compatibilities right now going through with OS 10, but I know most of you carry at least OS 9 and you can try this. It will work. So there are some little parts that I have changed and I will explain and that way we'll get some help on how that is possible. So number one is make sure you connect it to the internet. Second one is that you need to select your Play Store. Now before we go to Play Store, I do not want to forget. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you click the notification icon and select all in order for you to get notified once we have a new video out. If you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. On top of that, don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos and teach you a little more every time. So here we go. So first, launch your Google Play Store. Here you go. So once you go in, I want to mention that if you don't have a account, don't worry. If you have a Gmail email account, use the username and password to just log in and it will allow you. In this way, it's a lot easier, so you don't have to spend a little more time creating an account. If you do not have even that, don't worry, create one. And it will take you a couple of seconds. When it's going to ask you for your credit card information, it does have a little skip button. You can select it and it will be beautiful for you to go through this. Put that aside, let's go through here. So what we did is we went through the actual search on a top and we selected launcher. So this was our first one and we selected Nova launcher. This is the free version. So don't worry about the pro version yet. Once you install it, we will press back and back and now go back on the search on the top and type ATV. This is a second launcher that we use, which is this one. And make sure you click that install too. But once it's done, don't open it. Just leave it there. And I will tell you why. Because once you press home, you should get this type of little pop-up. And this will really help you to go from one to another. So let's go through one by one and I will explain that what I have done. So when you select a TV launcher, it will take you directly in sight, which is beautiful. Now, these background that you see is not something that it came with. I had to install it. Now for that, there's a few ways that you can do it. Number one, use your browser on your computer and go to Google Pictures. Just like when you go to search, you have a little part for pictures. And look for landscape, wallpapers. And that way you can see this type of pictures. I really like that color. And I know most of the icons have that same type of tone of color. And that's why it's kind of blending in. And I really like it. But you see the ATV launcher icon is on the top. You have the time really nicely written with the date, which is accurate. And also I'm connected via LAN and it's not wireless right now. But you can see that you can have more options here. So if you click there, it will ask you to add a widget. Now I already have time as a digital. So let's go ahead and select this one. And you can see that it moved to the middle. You can also Hold it for a few seconds and you'll get this little menu. Now with this, you can move it and just leave it there. That's it. And press back and you're done. So this way it's nice and smooth. Now if you use your air mouse to go up and down, you can do that too. But if you have a static mouse, that's fine. Just click down and you will be able to select your icons very easily. 
Another really cool thing that I like about this launcher itself is, as an example, I want to go to YouTube Kids. Click on it for a few seconds. It will tell you if you want to configure it and install it. Make a little folder and put everything in there. Or launch your settings and also Android settings. The one I want to select is going to be Move. When you click on it, you can see that little arrow. Now you can go up. You can go all the way in the first line and you can select one of these locations to leave it. I will put it right here and I will press OK and we're done. That's how easy it is to move icons with this launcher very easily. Now remember some of the boxes, when you press home, you don't get this pop-up. And once you press home, it takes you back to your regular old launcher. That's fully understandable. It's because that company where you got your box from or the name of your box, basically, they didn't allow for any other launcher to be your main launcher. And I will show you that in a few seconds. But this is really cool because you can change now and that's very easy to process. One more thing I like about this is when you press home, you can see it says to use just one or use it always. Now, if you do select always, like right here, now when I press home, it doesn't do anything. Now I'm stuck with this launcher. Don't worry there is a way to process it. Now you have to scroll and select your settings. Now I don't have a proper icon for the settings because this launcher does not give me one, but don't worry, once you're in the settings, select apps, find your launcher, which is minus right here, select it. And then in here you can scroll down and you can clear default and press okay. And that's it. Now when you press back and back, when you're on the main screen, press home, you'll get that pop-up again. So that's how easy it is to process. Just remember the name of your launcher. That's about it. And there are money launchers out there that will allow you to process something like this. Another cool thing is how did you change this background? It's very easy. So use your mouse and then go on the main screen and hold for a few seconds and you will get this pop-up on the site. So now you can select pick widgets. You can select it and all the widgets will come up so you can select different things. Now you can also have some Netflix information on the top too and I will go back and press for a few seconds and the second one says launcher settings, you can go there. So here also you can fix widgets and also applications, you can go to it. All of them are for paid version which going to be another video and also wallpaper. This is the one that I really like is to go through. Now over here, it says that you can select wallpaper or live wallpaper. Now in this box itself, I do not have a live wallpaper. You can download that too from Google Play Store. There are a ton of them out there. And if you like me to make another video for that too, please do ask at the bottom of the video. We love to jump into that. The best one I like is just called select wallpaper. So when you select it, it will take you to internal storage. It will tell you exactly how much is available or how much you have and how much is available. You can see I have almost nothing in this and that's why so much is available. But put that aside. Now, if you already have a wallpaper, download it on your USB. First, let's cancel out of this. Let's go to a file browser. The one that I recommend is called Explore. Now, there are many other ones out there. Something like the, this one says Xmedix File Explorer but there are some other ones. But the ones that I want you to get is going to be something like File Manager itself or Explore. So let's go to Explore. Now what I like is it looks like an FTP client that you run on your Windows. It's very, very simple. And what you need to do is from your SD card, you need to go to DCIM or you can go under Downloads. So your choice of where you want to go to to install it. So I had this on my network drive and I, so I had mine right there and this one. So I just selected it and then you make sure this arrow is towards your actual internal storage and the DCIM. And then you have a little button says copy, which is right there. When you select it, it will tell you that it's going to copy it to this folder, which is proper. And then just click on OK for it to go through. But I already done it, so I don't have to process that part. I will get out of this and go back and say once for now, and then we will go back on the top onto widget, 
and we will hold for a few seconds so we can go back to the launcher settings and then we will go to wallpaper select it select wallpaper itself and now we can go to internal storage and select down to dcim and here are the pictures that we selected so now we can switch it from this one to this one very easily and it will change in a background very quickly there you go now i have a different background but i really like that first one so but to just to differentiate we will leave this one for now and that's how easy it is for you to play with and there you go so I change it back so that way we can go to the next launcher but before I go click on it and then go to Android settings and here you can go back to your settings makes it very easy to process makes it very easy to process and go next all right so this was the first launcher called ATV launcher which is a free version now the next one is when you press home for a few seconds you will see I installed Nova Launcher. Now this is very very famous with the regular Android environment even when you have a phone and your launcher itself does not work install this. It's free again there's a paid version but this will really help you out and play with so when you click for a few seconds you will get this main menu it says wallpaper you can change the wallpaper you can select there you go and you can select different wallpapers that comes with and then you can say on the top it says set wallpaper and now your wallpaper changed very easily and if you have your own you can do the same thing so click on wallpaper and you can select your pick images and you have two of them there you go so I will select this one back and bang I'm done so we will put this wallpaper there that's not the only thing you can scroll up and all apps will show up so easily you can play with it now this is originally created for your regular phones and tablets but you can bring it and port it on your Android TVs or Android TV boxes it works perfect and you have a little button here for the power and it will tell you what you can do except that you also have this part so it can disappear the menu from the bottom and when you scroll up using your air mouse remote it really helps you out to bring it back up and you also have the home button there you go and you can say just once for now and you're back on the main screen. I know these icons are very gigantic, but that's the way they have designed it. But you have a nice search on the top, and you also have your menus on the top. So it makes it a lot easier for you to play with. That's not only thing, you have a time on the top, but you can click here, and you can bring some widgets on the main screen, so you have more accesses. Now the widgets are depends of what's involved in there. So there you go, there's my time. I will click this digital and I will bring it and leave it right there and I will say allow and create and simple but this is not where you can see it so I want to move it down here and you can make it smaller or bigger and done very easily you can process it by the way I'll remove it for now but you can have three pages or more if you have more icons you want to bring out you just have to hold for a few seconds on an icon like this one and it will tell you to move it and there you go that's how easy it is to move an icon on the main screen and then you can bring more if you want now remember that background is something that is very mandatory for you to play with so this way it's not going to clash like right now so let's go through and change some more things what I like about this is that now with this launcher you can also get some live wallpaper so let's just type live wallpapers now there are money money out there that you can play with but there are very small amount that I really like to play with one is called dream night free wallpaper and just wait for it to be done there's also one called sunset and this is also really cool you can install that too but let's go through and show you exactly what I mean once you bring it to something like Nova Launcher of how much it will change your view for your box and you're not going to turn off your TV even when you're trying to go to sleep because of how calm and how nice this will really look so let's go click on home and then we will go once we will click at the main screen so we can see this go to wallpaper go to live wallpaper and there you go so the first one is this one we wait for it to load it will take a couple of seconds and then say set and this is the first wallpaper so you can get rid of all of this 
and this way it will look beautiful. I know that the icons are a little bit big. I'm going to see if I can change those icons to become a little bit smaller. So let's click on it and go to settings. Now the, under the settings, there's a lot of different things that you can select and you can see the icons are right now at 125 percent, which is very, very big. So icon size right now. So we will make it smaller and there you go. You can make it as small as possible. We will leave it roughly about there. And then the font size, we want to make it a little bit bigger. So this way we can read it. Just click back. And then also the docking background, it says seven icon. You can click. You can make this smaller or bigger by just rolling this. You can see that you can add more. So I will leave it about eight so it looks better. And also it says the space is going to be one. And we're going to leave everything the same. Go back. And let's go back to the main screen. You can see it's a lot better now and the icons look better. So I will move this down here. There you go. And much better. So let's move this down here too. And now the best part, what I like is you can interact with these little birds on the top. You can make them go back or go back. And also when the wind hits, you can see these trees will move a little bit and these clouds will move a little bit back and forth and you will see shooting stars which is beautiful now this is not the only there you go you see that that's not the only one that we have played with so we're just going to wait till like, these little deers to get right there and I guess it doesn't work when you play with it so I'll leave this alone press ok we will go to live wallpaper again and we will select this one and this is another beautiful wallpaper. I really like it. Any other day kept everything the same and you can see the clouds on the top moving little by little. I really like those little particles and then the birds you can play with with your air mouse remote so that way they will forget which way they were going and also the direction and everything is separated. I really like that on a wallpaper and you can also make that little part go away so your icons will kind of come down a little more it makes it a lot easier for you to play with so this is something that I wanted to come out and show you guys of how this is possible and you can also make this always to be your launcher right there it says always and also you can make it just once so you can go back to your main launcher if you really like your main launcher and when you press it goes back to this so this was how it is possible for you to change your launcher to two new launchers that I really enjoy playing with on your old box or brand new box so this we have a different feel and different setup and you can play with it and make the box totally yours so you do not have to stay with what those box creators give you so I have more options and more how you can play with it this is a new video that we tried to make and we did the same thing about a year ago and we thought you know what let's just make another one and show you exactly how it used to have some compatibility issues now it doesn't and now you will be able to play with your box and make box yours so you will like it more I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button. Subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.